Hi. First of all, I just want to say that I'm 100% Egyptian. I've never been to America. I don't live in America. So I have freedom of speech. I can say whatever I want. I don't need to tiptoe around the terminology. Yeah, I'm not holding back. I am not racist by any means. I don't have anything against the people that made this show. But my real problem is with the big fish. People whose idea was to make this show, who have hidden agendas behind this show. Because everybody else is just tools. They're just puppets. Like the cast and Jada and all these people. This is my history. This is my queen they're talking about. This is my hero. First of all, I'm just gonna start with a short history class. Skip this part if you're not interested, but just to show you the vastness of Egyptian history. Cleopatra is actually closer in time to us than she is to the people that built the pyramids. Pyramids were 2,500 years old to Cleopatra herself. Like, the pyramids were ancient history to Cleopatra. Let that sink in. So a Greek man named Alexander the Great built modern-day Alexandria, my city. built Alexandria and he took over Egypt. Cleopatra was a direct descendant to the Greeks and Macedonian rulers that came after Alexander the Great. There's been a few different depictions of Cleo's looks that come from sculptures and coins. Some of them picture her as a beautiful woman and others picture her as somebody with very masculine and sharp features. Everybody can agree that she has a sharp Roman type nose and big eyes. While it's true that we can't pinpoint the exact tone of her skin, it would range from fair to olive or light brown skin. Logically speaking, as we all know, the ruling families in ancient Egypt were so protectant of their bloodlines that they went as far as marrying their own brothers and sisters. In fact, Cleopatra is actually a product of incest. Parents were actually brothers and sisters and she married her brother and then killed him and took his throne. But that's a different story. Cleopatra Egyptian because she was born and raised in Egypt? Or was she Macedonian Greek because of her ancestors? That's the real question. That's the debate. It's between Greece and Egypt. Who brought blacks in the mix? It's like saying Mother Teresa was Asian. Or Mahatma Gandhi was Japanese. Or the earth is flat even though we've proved a thousand times that it's spherical. It's absurd. This is serious. This is not a cartoon. This is historical docuseries. This is not even Cleopatra. This is Cleo culture theft. Cleo lies. This is Cleopatra? Really? This is not even about black and white. This is not even about skin color. Or like, look at her. Like, ancient Egyptians were known to be very obsessed with their grooming. They always did their hair in beautiful braids. They went as far as shaving their own hair, putting wigs on just to look very tidy and neat. They were obsessed with looking beautiful. These are some of the most beautiful women in history. I want to cry. <laughs> so you can see why we're upset. It's the low effort. It's how historically incorrect it is. Like, come on. I don't know why the world won't just let us have our history. The world went a part of our history so badly to the point that they steal our artifacts. Steal our artifacts and they put it in their museums. Did you really think people don't know how you got them? They're stolen. And then they say it was aliens. And now they're saying that everybody in ancient Egypt was black. Like, what is next? What's next? Like, they're gonna say Cleopatra was a transgender. Or next, a group of, like, intelligent horses are gonna come out and be like, the ancient Egyptians actually genetically modified horses. They're ho they belong to the species of horse. Stop! Like, enough! Just let us have our culture. Let us have our heritage. Let me tell you my theory why all of this is happening right now. Egyptians have been going rogue about their stolen artifacts. We have been making a lot of movements, there's a lot of riots recently in front of the British Museum and the Louvre. They actually managed to get a few artifacts back. So now what they're doing, like the Matrix leaders, this is what they're doing. They are trying to distract Egyptians. They're trying to give us something new to be worried about. Giving us a new enemy. This is a Matrix leader mentality and they're basically throwing black people under the bus. They're throwing you guys under the bus and you guys are falling for it. And they're just giving us a new enemy. They're like, hey, no, no, no. We're not the racist ones. They're the racist ones. They're the bad ones. Hate them for a while. So we can be a little bit distracted about our artifacts situation with this whole Cleopatra stuff. It's like killing two birds with one stone too because it's 
you know, the Egyptians and a lot of other people that agree with us. Like now we have beef with the black people. So now you think that next time the black people are going to have like, like Black Lives Matter or something like that? You think they're going to have our support? So the next time there's a black president for elections, you think that we're going to vote for them? Can you see what they're doing right now? They will never let this die. They will never let this die. They will bring this up over and over again on social media. They'll be like, hey, you remember when black people tried to steer Cleopatra and Egyptian history? You remember that? They tried to do it with the Israeli girl. Gal Gadda tried to be Cleopatra. You remember that? We shut that whole operation down. We called it whitewashing, by the way. So you can't call us racist for this. They were just as mad when Gal Gadda tried to be Cleopatra. Data. Like, I can't believe you fell for this. Like, Jada, like, what is going on? Like, you need therapy. Like, I don't know what's been happening with you. Like, you've been giving us scandal after scandal since 2018. Like, what is going on, girl? Is this, like, the midlife crisis everybody talks about? It's also another thing that I want to touch on. Like, what is black? I feel like nobody outside America should be called black. This is what they do. Like, basically, in America, just categorize people based on their skin color have white and non-white which they put all in one group and call black period okay and it doesn't matter where you actually come from you're just the idea of race just doesn't exist for us here in egypt they're all just egyptians you know and it's not like we don't see color no we see color but we don't put people in groups based on their skin color the word black only exists in america so if you were to like hypothetically stand in the middle of Africa, say to everyone, hey, you're all one type of people and you're all black. You know what's going to happen to you? You're going to get shot. Yeah, you're going to get shot. You want to know why? Because here in Africa, there's Nigerian, there's Kenyan, there's Ghanaian, there's Somali, there's Tunisian, there's Egyptian, there's South African. And people are proud of their nationality. They want to be grouped with their nationality. You can't come to Africa and when people ask you where are you from, you tell them I'm black. No, it doesn't work like that in Africa. It's not even about skin color, okay? Because everybody knows that you could be the same shade of skin color but still be a different type of people. Our face, our features, our culture is different. You can't group us all into one group and call us black. And this is absurd to me, you know? And this is... This is basically slavery mentality and you are reinforcing it. Who were the first people to call Africans black? Yeah, you know who they were and you know why they called, they called you guys black. They, they called you black just to separate you from them. But they can't do that to us. You can't come and call us black in our country. You know, I could probably look like this girl when I stay in the sun for three hours. I'll probably be the same color as her. But you can tell the difference between me and her. You can clearly see that I'm a different type of people than her. That I come from a different culture. That I speak a different language. Okay, that I have a different background. You know, grouping people based on skin color only exists in America. And this needs to stop. Or this needs to be in America. Keep it in America, but don't bring it to us. If you really wanted to say that people of very dark skin color had a role in ancient Egypt, you could have went for one of the Nubian kings or queens. You literally went for our whitest queen. <laughs> oh my god. Bottom line is, Cleopatra was not black. There's no way she could have been black. Egyptians were all colors and they still are. Here's a slideshow of Egyptian people that look exactly like their grandparents. Whether they were, they're dark, they're light, they have curly hair, they have straight hair, they have brown hair, they have dark hair. We are our own people, regardless of our skin color. We are Egyptian. Dark, light, we are Egyptian. Okay, don't bring your American racism to us. We don't have racism in Egypt. Ancient Egypt was a mixing pot of so many different types of humans that all came together to bring the best of humanity for thousands of years. Can we all just agree to that? We are a race that comes from so many different backgrounds and we all mix together to bring out this beautiful cappuccino race. 
you can't claim us and you can't claim our heritage or our history. You have zero right to do so. Our history belongs to us. So basically, I just want to say again that I don't have a problem with the cast. I have a problem with the people that are trying to stir shit up. They're trying to start a war, start a race war. Somebody is trying to start shit. The people that finance the show, the people that came up with the idea, the, the owners of Netflix, the owners of the world, the families that own the world. Yeah, and that's it. A little bit about me. My name is Nora. I'm from Egypt. This is what I look like. Cleopatra has always been my role model. She is an example of a very powerful, beautiful woman that did not stop at any difficulties, that ruled a whole country, one of the most powerful countries in the world at the time, and she ruled it without fear on her own as a woman. That's why I had to speak up. I could not be silent about this. I know there's going to be World War III in the comments, and I know some people are going to call me racist, but calling me racist is basically racist on its own. I'm going to try and answer all comments except very rude, uninformed, racist comments. Stupid comments, basically. So if you see me not replying to your comment, that means your comment is stupid. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know if I should make another video about anything else. And yeah. That's it. Bye.